Okay, I'm like 90% sure this really didn't need to be in a box, but here we are, so we're gonna open it up. Let's take a closer look. For me at least, it's been a while since I recorded one of these. I've just been ordering a lot of small orders that just didn't feel worthwhile to record. So I finally decided it's time to get back on the grind. Okay, there are a lot of pieces in here. I forgot, they were big. Well, this is a type of packaging I've not seen before. This is definitely the reason I thought I wasn't getting a box. When it's just a little number on BrickLink, you, you don't realize how much parts sometimes you're actually getting. But I have a ton of pink stuff here, which of course is really cheap because uh, there's not a lot of mock builders doing stuff in pink, but with the imminent release of the 1.20, whatever they're calling it, update for Minecraft, I was considering doing a cherry blossom biome very soon, maybe even pushing back the basalt delta again to make it happen. We'll see how that goes. But I do think this is one that I need to do in some way, somehow, at some point. Should I show what my collection of this looks like now? I think it's time. It's embarrassing. Oh good, the lid still fits. I was actually having my doubts. I don't know how many are in there. I don't want to know. The thing that prompted me to make this video, uh, the first BrickLink video that I've recorded in quite some time, was actually these. So I finished recording my system place at Knight's Kingdom retrospective half an hour ago. The seller uh, had some cards that are actually incredibly rare. Um, some cards exclusive to a Target exclusive, which had more cards in it. Uh, I talked about it a little bit in the action figure video, but there are two variants in North America of the action figure canisters. One had three cards, one had six. For instance, these would be the three bonus Danju cards from that Target exclusive. And I believe they were listed as having play wear. It doesn't look like these have ever been touched by a human being before. They're perfect. And each was 10 cents a piece even though they're incredibly rare. Obviously, since those videos are done, I don't really have a place to show these anymore, but I think they're really interesting to take a look at. And I think I just didn't have this one. This might be one that came with uh, Vladik Stark Fortress from 2005. And then these were the same situation as Danju, bonus Raskus cards. And man, these are just all in perfect condition. So that's really cool. 60 cents for mint condition cards like that. Here's a bunch of random stuff. So there's a few things I needed from this store in particular to finish off uh, some Harry Potter sets of all things. So working my way through some of the 2001-2002 era sets, uh, one set I didn't have was the Quidditch practice set. So these were just some outstanding pieces from that. Many people have pointed out, and I promise it was intentional, but I actually didn't have the original Vladiket when doing that Knight's Kingdom retrospective. I only had the Phase 2 from 2005, so now we have the old one, so I can properly complete that first action figure Vladic. I do believe I needed one of these uh, for the Harry Potter sets, but if I don't end up using them for Harry Potter sets, I'll definitely use them in the Snowy Village. These are for Harry Potter sets too, believe it or not. I actually didn't have any one by eights in order. I don't know if it's uncommon or what the deal is with that. This is really cool. It's a little dented and was described as being so, uh, but I misplaced one of mine a while back. This came with a World City freight train. Really, really interesting train. Um, I'll have to rebuild it and review it at some point. And the guy had 10 green grill tiles for cacti. That always makes me so happy. 10 is a high amount of green grill tiles these days, so I will take it. This is noteworthy. So this flower stalk is actually a different color than what you're used to. Over here we have the olive green, of course, this is the regular green, but this is bright green. This is a product of Belleville Scala from the 90s, and they're quite difficult to get your hands on. Will I ever get enough to replace all of them in the jungle? Absolutely not. Much like green tiles, you run into these in quantities of one for about 50 cents a piece or more. It's just not worth the investment. But I'll pick them up when, they, when I can. Uh, this is my first one. I just wanted to kind of compare. And it definitely is a different color. Uh, it's really cool. This was a really delightful little order. Uh, some really fun and useful stuff. Crazy. And of course, not useful stuff. It wouldn't be fun if it didn't have 
not useful stuff. This is like another comically large package, and I'm pretty sure just by feeling this one, it doesn't need to be this big, but shipping was automatic, so it doesn't make any difference to me. I already spotted something very wrong with this order. Hopefully we'll get a refund on that. Uh, but these, these flower stems were advertised as bright green. And as you can see, they, they are not. Obviously we got grill tiles in there too, and those are supposed to be green, but the flower stems were supposed to be bright green. I paid bright green prices for them. So I definitely will ask for my money back on those. Uh, because I don't know if you noticed, but I'm actually doing okay in the, the regular green department for flower stems. So uh, paying cash money dollars for these bad boys is not something I ever want to do because uh, I should never have to do it. Oh well, the good news is you got these right and there were 10 of them, which is, again is a very significant number of those. So a lot of the parts in this order are meant to finish up some Harry Potter sets. Maybe you can guess based off here, this is going to be going towards the 2002 Privet Drive. Some of those one by twos are kind of nasty looking. I don't think it's gonna show up great on camera, but yeah, there you go. I do notice that light blue does discolor a lot faster than other colors for some reason. Also the stacking, the stacking is not super, super great. This order is kind of rubbing me the wrong way, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Dirty parts, wrong parts. Maybe, maybe we'll get something good here. Let's, let's try our luck with these shields. No complaints here. These look good. Vikings revisiting is a video I'm very much looking forward to doing. It's a fascinating theme, really cool stuff. Random stuff here. This is for Privet Drive. Diagon Alley Shops, Harry Potter set, and Nocturne Alley. This is actually exclusive to Nocturne Alley and is rather pricey. So these are all old gray pips, which is kind of fun. And I use it for gravel in the Lego Minecraft display. Just gives it a little bit more texture and a interesting color uh, as opposed to regular light bluish gray. Oh, hey, look at that, a loose iron golem arm. Sand purple, you know, the drill. This was a sticker. Not a sticker I was missing, but a sticker that I had misplaced. I have a version of this with the sticker upside down, uh, which is kind of funny. Uh, so this is it, I think, right side up? Either way, I have one of each. I just needed one to be right for that video because having them opposite directions for the feet just looked bizarre. Uh, more Privet Drive window stuff. These are more Vikings. I bought a few sets without minifigures just because it was cheaper that way. And I figured I could source some of the minifigures more affordably on my own. So these were some of those more affordably sourced Vikings minifigures to complete out some of those sets. And this is just a variety of dark gray pieces that's old dark gray mostly for privet drive right there same thing here with the light gray really nothing of note in here just stuff that i don't have i don't have a whole lot of light gray so some of these pieces are pretty mundane that's about it so not a perfect order here dirty old bricks it, it happens it really sucks but for what i do it's fine paying 20 cents a piece for, oh, well look at this. This one isn't even the right mold and it's stepped on. It, that's uh, most unfortunate, but yeah. These, don't be afraid to hold Bricklink sellers uh, to some high standards. We don't want people just out there for the money filling up the platform. We want people who are actually invested in the hobby and can, you know, obviously mistakes happen, but we want our sellers to be able to differentiate between colors and at the very least, differentiate between molds um, and not give me ones that are stepped on. So anyway, it's fine. I'm I'm glad I got what I got here, but do better Bricklink sellers. If our third package today is anything, it's that it's not a prime package. This order arrived exceptionally fast. Like it's just been two or three days and it's already here. I, where did this come from? Oh, it, it didn't come from that far away. That makes more sense now. 
Anyway, this order was prompted primarily by these pieces you see here. I'm really very much like on a Knight's Kingdom mindset right now. It really happens with most of the themes I do revisiting videos on. I get really into it. It's fun uh, to try and collect all the sets or part ones out that I can. And this is one that I'm hoping to piece together. I was only missing a handful of parts and this store had all the parts that I needed to complete that model. Uh, the primary targets being the shield here, but some of the brown pieces in here, which I'll touch on in a second. So these were originally introduced in 2005 with the King Matthias Wave 2 action figure, but they're also used on the sides of the battering ram siege cart. <laughs> it was a set I never had as a kid and the name escapes me, but they're quite different than the paper shields that we saw in Wave 1 with the action figures. So these are very nicely painted, very specialized, hard plastic shield pieces. It's gonna add a ton of detail to the, the playset that I'm building too, which is kind of fun. You'll notice here a lot of pink pieces. These are to help me hopefully build out that cherry grove. I'm hoping to use these as some green accents in the leaves as the cherry grove leaves actually do feature a lot of green. And these were like two and a half cents a piece. Um, I don't know how far this will get me, but it'll be a good start at least. Attached to this bag here are one by two and one by one green tiles. Just something I go through a lot uh, when making trees. I used a bunch on the custom sniffer from a while back. Um, and even the top of cacti in the desert used the one by one. So I'm always going through these. I never seem to have any. So decided to stock up on those two by two tiles. Pink. There's a few fun goodies in here by the looks of it. I'm using this for my April Fools video. And then another squid. Very rare piece, only came with the Ocean Monument set. I don't know if they'd ever do another squid, so. <sighs> I need help. Two by two jumpers in green. I actually almost ran out of these making the April Fools video. Kind of insane. After making the Dripstone Cave, I actually have hardly any dark tan bricks. And these I could definitely see being useful again. So grab those. So this is the odds and ends here. Uh, so a lot of these are to complete various sets. So these were for the Knights Kingdom set I was talking about earlier. This is the base piece of the squid. This is just fun. This is a lavender flower stem. We were looking at the other colors earlier and I thought like, hey, maybe I should get this one for this video too. And there it is. Wow, green grill tiles. So here we got a silver frog, flat silver frog exclusive to a hidden side set, if I'm not mistaken. So that's kind of cool. This I need to complete a Harry Potter set, the original Escape from Privet Drive. Need that for another Ravager. Uh, Witherhead, that's kind of cool. Again, I don't see them remaking the Wither set, so pretty hard to find. I actually sold off my second Wither and I'm kind of regretting it. I would like two Withers. These are for the Quidditch practice set from the Sorcerer's Stone in the scene where Draco steals, Neville's remember all. These are old gray goggles that I technically need to complete. Uh, that Mount Everest set, I had just substituted new dark bluish gray. And here there are two posters and we'll look at these in more detail in a future video. So I won't spoil them entirely, uh, but there's one poster featuring all the 2001 Lego Harry Potter sets and then one featuring all the 2002 and a lot of the 2001. Uh, Harry Potter sets for Chamber of Secrets, Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, those are really nice to have in what looks to be really good condition too. So that makes me very happy. One last order for today. This is another one that came sooner than expected, which is always a fun surprise. And this one has a little bit of everything in it, but I made it primarily for some Knight's Kingdom trading cards that they had as I continue to Try and collect them, <laughs> them all. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if they all exist, but uh, this store in particular had four that I didn't have, which is kind of exciting. So yeah, there you go. These are fun to have. One of them was rather expensive, but what you gonna do? It's just not many places to get these things. And so to justify the order, I ordered some other stuff too. Um, these will be great because I'm actually working on Cherry Blossom and Basalt Delta at the same time right now. So I needed some parts for that to continue on the tree. Dark Brown. I noticed as I was working on another unrelated project uh, that I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of that color. So now I got some more. This store had a lot of old gray, which is always fun too. Something I'll always use. Uh, one piece I was missing for one of those Harry Potter sets 
Um, and then the Owl for Nocturne Alley. That's an old brown staircase. Looks terribly dusty. That's the last piece I need for Escape from Privet Drive, the original. Bunch of 1x2 Technic bricks. And then just 2x2s in old grade. They were really cheap. So they all are in good shape too, which is nice to see because sometimes these older bricks really aren't. Oh yeah. And then Dark Tan because I use up most on the Dripstone Cave module and slowly going to replenish that. This is exciting though. Glad I got these. Um, I'm going to continue to keep an eye out for these. If you have Knights Kingdom trading cards that you're looking to trade, potentially, uh, let me let me know what numbers you have or, and are willing to part with. Maybe, maybe we can uh, do a little exchange or something. But that's all for this time. Have yourself a great life. I'll catch you later.